Uh, yeah, I saw the first couple episodes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, didn't get super invested. Yeah. It's yeah. Weird. <laughs> What's going on? I mean, what's this about a name change? Oh, um, yeah, I wrote down some ideas. You want to see them? Okay. <coughs> what's this first one? Sion. Sione. It's the Simone equivalent of John. Huh. I think it'll give me an edge. It could. Sione, Sione McDowell does sound exotic. Like when Noah Gerber changed his name to Noah Garcia to reflect his Colombian side. Yeah. Or Farouk to Freddie Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia Kelly to Iggy Azalea. <laughs> George Michael. Charlie Sheen. Winning. <laughs> you know what else you could do? Tanning beds. Raven Simone went to tanning salons three to four times a week to get darker skin while filming That's So Raven. Crazy, right? Yeah, crazy. You watch That's So Raven? Dude, such a good show. But you're missing my point. Darker skin equals more ethnic roles. Or it could get you into Harvard. Ask C. Thomas Howe. <laughs> Who? C. Thomas Howe. Soul Man? Oh, so Soul Man was this 80s movie where this white guy who can't afford Harvard Law School takes tanning pills to be black to get a scholarship. You know, blackface. How was that even allowed to be made? It was the 80s, man. It long Duck Dong, Richard Pryor was in The Toy. Johnny Five is alive. I hate to admit it, but Fisher Stevens was actually good in those films. His dialect, his research, I, that doesn't excuse it, but I appreciate the actor's hard work. So we got name change, we got skin color darkening. Are you active on social media? No. I just think it's narcissistic and selfish and it has nothing to do with acting. I use social media as a way to level a playing field and help my fellow actors of color. I guess. Let me be real with you. You're still submitting yourself for white roles, right? Yeah. And for the brown ones? Yeah. And you're also able to audition for ethnically ambiguous parts? Where are you going with this? You want to change because you think you'll get cast more with an ethnically ambiguous name. But I submit and get submitted for half the number of roles as you. I'm not booking, though. It's numbers. The more auditions you go on, the more callbacks you get, and the more callbacks, and so on. It's math. It's not math that gets you roles. It's ability. Yeah, you look more ethnic, and yeah, you do the social media thing. But if you had more talent and more ability, you would book more. That's being real. First of all, harsh. Not cool at all. Second of all, are any of these mofos who are working consistent, are they, are any? <sighs> Cut! Look, I'm so sorry. Uh, no problem. All right, let's reset and do it again. Nice work, gentlemen. Cheers, mate. You're a good director. Oh, thanks. <coughs> you know I worked on 12 Years in the Queen? Get out. Huh. Brilliant storyteller. Huh. And telling an important piece of history, too. Huh. She will? Oh, he was, he was absolutely brilliant. I mean, he, I mean transcend the race, right? He was robbed. I mean, all, all, all the great Brits do. Uh, ben Kingsley is gone. That's right. Uh, Lawrence Olivier is a fellow. Beautiful. Ben and the Cumberbatch is con. Lovely portrayal. Yeah, they're not hung up on race like the Yanks are. Oh my god, it's all they can talk about. It's this black, that brown, this white. Get over yourself. Well, you, can't, you can't go outside without hearing about it. You get whacked over the head with it with the cricket bat, essentially. Yeah.